Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I thought I'd have a little chit chat with you guys because I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down and talked to you guys, caught up with you guys and just have a little chit chat. So that's what I'm doing today. A few weeks ago, I asked some of you on Instagram to send me some questions. So I have a few of those questions on my phone and I'm going to answer those. I was going to do a get ready with me Q&A, but I just got back from church. I look kind of cute, so I thought, why not just do the video now and just have a little sit down moment and talk to you guys. Before we head into this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I really want to reach 20k subscribers, so please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lillian Tech Guy. Get yourself a nice cup of tea like I did and let's get into the actual tea about my life. So before I get into these questions, I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of an update. So first things first, I graduated. I had my graduation ceremony a few weeks ago and I'm going to have my graduation party in a month. So I will definitely try my best to vlog that day because I wanted to vlog my graduation ceremony, but that day was so hectic, I literally did not have the time to vlog. So I'm hoping that with my graduation party, all I have to do is get ready and show up. We're going to have a lit time with my cousin, so I'm definitely going to vlog that weekend. But for now, my graduation ceremony was two weeks ago. It was really good. but. It kind of like it didn't really process for me because I actually graduated last year so I handed in my dissertation or thesis in October and I got the results a few weeks later so that's when I basically found out I graduated but the graduation ceremony wasn't until this summer in that time frame from handing in my dissertation up until my graduation ceremony my life changed completely so it was kind of weird to have a graduation ceremony so late after actually finishing university. Um, regardless, it was really rewarding to walk down that stage and just to see my family be so proud of my achievement, that really meant a lot to me as well. But I do have to say, I have been feeling really off lately because after graduating, it's really easy to fall into what they call like a postgraduate depression. I had that really badly after I graduated from my undergrad for my bachelor's degree but it wasn't so bad for my master's because I actually have a job. It, during my undergrad when I finished that degree it was the height of the pandemic 2020 so getting a job was really hard a lot of people lost their jobs so there was no way really where I could get a job especially in marketing because marketing is usually the first department where they like to cut the budget so it was really a struggle to find a job back then however now I actually have a job I did get a new job which is why I moved to Manchester if some of you remember from that video that I explained why I was moving to Manchester however I quit that job because it was just such a toxic and hostile work environment it was literally draining I was coming home so tired and just drained mentally and physically that I would come home and just sleep that was literally my routine every single day come home eat and sleep and even on the weekends like I didn't even have any motivation to go outside because I was just so drained from working all week and it made me realize that that's not what I want like I don't want to work at a big company just for the sake of being at such a big brand name if the work situation is horrible so I quit the job and I'm back at my old job now which is again in social media marketing so it's still definitely something that I enjoy and it also allows me to first of all work from home which is a great benefit because it allows me to just have a better work-life balance and to do things after work it's a lot easier to create content after work and yeah there's just a lot of benefits to working from home I'm sure I don't have to convince any of you of that but there are also some disadvantages because you tend to feel quite isolated you'll have to really find a reason to go outside so I'm really trying to incorporate daily walks now otherwise I'm just stuck in the house for the whole week until the weekend comes around anyways the reason why I've been feeling off is because, and this may sound crazy, but 
I'm just not feeling very content with where I'm at right now. I'm not getting a lot of joy out of my day-to-day -day jobs and I'm not really sure what I want for the future either because before I graduated I had this thing in my mind where I would work like a 9 to 5 office job for a few years and then start something of my own or whatever would come along. Now that I've had that terrible office experience, I'm like, I don't think I can do a 9 to 5 for the next few years. It's almost traumatizing to be fair. And on the other hand, I was feeling really lost with my content as well. So my YouTube, my TikTok, Instagram, because I just didn't know what direction I wanted my content to go. I started off on YouTube with my beauty videos and some videos about my culture, my Eritrean heritage, but I realized that a lot of the focus was on the Eritrean content that I was doing. And as much as I love my culture, I didn't want to be known just for that. I want my channel to be all about me, so all aspects of me, not just my culture, but more so the things that I really enjoy doing in my day-to-day -day life. So I really enjoy doing makeup, doing hair, I really enjoy fashion, but I also really enjoy traveling and doing vlogs, weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, or whenever I have something fun going on. But when you work from home full-time, Monday to Friday, doing a weekly vlog doesn't really make a lot of sense in my head because I don't have much to show for and if I don't really have any specific plans on the weekend then I'm just like well what am I gonna vlog am I just gonna vlog myself at home every day which I don't know if that's what you guys want to see like let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you guys want to see on my channel please send me video ideas they're always welcome but yeah because I was kind of stuck in that cycle of I'm not in feeling inspired because I don't know what direction I want my content to go and I wasn't feeling motivated because I was just because I was just being discouraged by focusing too much on the numbers, on analytics. My YouTube views have dropped a lot since I started being a lot more inconsistent. So I'm now trying to be more consistent again on YouTube also TikTok and Instagram be more active on that and it's quite hard to balance posting on those three platforms consistently and frequently as much as you try to repurpose your content across different channels it's not that easy so for example this video is filmed horizontally but for TikTok and Instagram reels ideally you want your video to be vertically so that it's the same format as your phone that's why it's sometimes quite hard to to repurpose your content on different platforms. So that's why I was feeling quite demotivated, but I'm in a much better space now, mentally especially. And I think that's what was holding me back a little bit because if I'm not in the right space mentally, I don't really feel comfortable going on camera and putting on a fake show because I want you guys to see the real me, the authentic version of me and not just me putting on a smile even when I'm not in the right mood. Anyways, I think I'm finally crawling out of that kind of dip, I guess you could call. I was stuck in a rut a little bit where I was just feeling a bit lost and not very inspired or motivated, but I'm definitely back on my Zoom. I'm trying to upload every week again. I'm trying to film every week again, so that's really good. And I'm also working on my hair business. I'm trying to promote it more, create more content around that so that my hair business does better as well because I do believe that that kind of goes hand in hand, especially because I do a lot of hair videos on YouTube and I feel like that will go hand in hand really well. So for those of you that don't know, I have an online hair business that I launched last year of selling human hair. I sell bundles and wigs. I have a few videos on my channel about my hair business and the hair that I sell. So I'll link them in the description box down below. But if you want to follow our page, it's at Purity Hair UK on Instagram and TikTok. And the website is www.purityhair.co.uk. The collection on the website is quite limited. So because I hold the inventory myself, I don't like to buy too much stock. So if there's anything that you want that you don't see on my website for example specific curly hair texture or if you want a v part or a u part wig please feel free to send me a message and i can do a pre-order for you anyways i'm back with the weekly uploads i'm really excited to be back on youtube consistently and i really do believe that if i keep going at this that i can make this my full-time job i have a lot of people that tell me this which is crazy to me because 
I think other people sometimes believe in me more than I believe in myself, which kind of sounds sad to be honest, but you know, you always have these doubts in your head or these negative thoughts and it's really easy to just let those negative thoughts take over your mind, but it's so important to just believe in yourself and speak things into existence. So me saying, I believe that I can make YouTube and social media my full-time job, even if I don't believe it, just by saying it and keep continuing to say it and repeating it, I will start believing it and I will work towards it. So that's my goal this year to just keep telling myself, you got this, you can do this. And I really do believe that God wouldn't have put this idea on my heart if I couldn't do it by the grace of God, of course. So with that being said, I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me, all the likes, all the comments. I read all the comments, by the way, and I really appreciate it. When you guys send me DMs on Instagram, it just means so much to me to see that people are still supporting me, that people are still like just now discovering my channel, and it really motivates me and encourages me to keep going. So. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. I really, really do appreciate it. Anyways, I think that was my little life update. Let's get into these questions. So the first one is, how are you liking Manchester? So for those of you that don't know, I moved to Manchester in January. It's now August, so it's officially been half a year. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think especially since I quit my job in March, things have just like skyrocketed from there. I've met so many new people, I've been out so much and really just exploring the city, exploring the country and having fun with the new people that I've met and yeah, I'm really enjoying Manchester. I really, really like this city. I think compared to Birmingham especially, I really didn't enjoy Birmingham that much and one thing I noticed is that it's because in Manchester, there are a lot of new people coming from London, from Birmingham, from Leeds, Liverpool, Newcastle, wherever they're coming from. A lot of people are new to the city, so they're all a lot more open to making new friends. Whereas when I was living in Birmingham, a lot of the people there were locals and because they've grown up there, they already have their group of friends, so they're not really as open to meeting new people as the people in Manchester. The vibe is always great in the city. There's so much to do. There's always something going on, and I just really enjoy it here. Would I live here for the rest of my life? I'm not sure, but that's only because I'm just not sure if I want to live in West Europe for the rest of my life because this weather, this climate, I just noticed that whenever I'm in a warm country, it just instantly lifts my mood. Every time I come back from a warm country, it makes me realize that the more I travel, the more I want to live and spend the rest of my life in a warmer country. Now, I don't need a 40 degree weather country, but you know, just a little bit warmer, not this cold weather every day. The summer in Manchester or in the UK in general has been terrible. Even though most of Europe has had a heat wave this summer, the UK weather was terrible. I literally posted something on my story today and everyone was like, how has May and June been more lit than July and August? Like I've literally just been working and being at home, working and being at home, sometimes going out for food, but that's about it. I was really expecting my summer to be so lit, especially looking at May and June because it was so much fun. But hopefully September will make up for it and hopefully we get a little bit better weather as well. Okay, I'll just answer these two questions in one. Someone asked, are you single? And then another person asked, are you looking to date someone right now? So first of all, yes, I am single. Second question, am I looking to date someone right now? I don't think so. I feel like I'm not really ready to be out there yet. I think I just want to focus on myself and really just enjoy this freedom of being single. I think I'm 24, I'm still quite young, so I just want to live for me for at least the next year. And if someone comes on my path, so be it, like if that's God's will. But I won't be going out of my way to seek it. I think it's really important that I just learn to be alone and enjoy this freedom and this independence that I have right now. So anywhere that I want to go, I don't have to consider anyone, which I quite enjoy. And I've only been on one trip yet this year and I'm really trying to go on more trips. So 
yeah i'm just enjoying the freedom right now and i don't really want to be stuck in a relationship even though you're not stuck in a relationship because obviously it's not like prison or something but you do have to consider the other person that you're with which is a beautiful thing about relationships but it's just not something that i'm ready to do after coming out of such a long-term relationship that i was in before six years is a long time so i think i'm gonna take some time for myself and just focus on myself and focus on building something for myself as well because you know i just graduated i do have a job but i really want to build something stable for myself i want to grow my hair business i want to grow my social media now i know you don't have to have all your shit together before going into a relationship but i do like to have at least a little bit of my life together before i get into a relationship and i'm not really someone that dates just for the sake of it i'm very much someone that dates to marry kind of girl which is good in general but sometimes it can lead me to overthink way too soon and way too much so I don't know if I would advise everyone to do so, but definitely like I wouldn't waste my time with anyone that I don't see a future with. So for now, I'm not really interested in dating anyone, but who knows, we might see in a few months, I might feel different, I don't know. But in this current situation, in this current moment, I don't feel like dating. Next question, which I actually really liked because I feel like we don't ask ourselves this question enough, is what do you like the most about yourself? So I had to think a little bit about this question because it's just something that I don't really think about often. To answer the question, I think I would definitely say my personality and my character because even though some people have taken advantage of my character and my personality, it's still something that I'm very proud of being very kind and gracious and loving. Sometimes I can be a people pleaser, which I'm very much working on. People pleasing, it's, it comes with good intentions, but it doesn't do you any good. So I'm learning how to set boundaries this year. I'm learning how to choose myself and put myself first, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop being a loving and caring person. So I would definitely say the thing I love the most about myself is my personality. Because I love this question so much, I wanna ask you guys, what is your favorite thing about yourself? Leave it in the comments down below because I just want everyone to love themselves a little bit more because we can be really tough on ourselves. That's actually another thing that I'm trying to work on is the way I speak to myself, the way I think about myself. If I wouldn't speak to my friend like that, I'm not speaking to myself like that. So we really need to practice more self-love or let me speak for myself, I do need to practice a lot more self-love. Um, so this question is a great reminder of the things that you love about yourself. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long so I'm gonna do one more question which is what is your biggest aspiration in life? Is there a plan or goal you want to achieve? So I feel like I kind of covered it a little bit in all the rambling that I did in this video but I think my biggest aspiration in life is to just be happy, be successful. When I say successful, I don't mean like famous or a millionaire or a billionaire, but I just wanna be financially stable. I wanna have the financial freedom to do whatever I want, to be able to take care and provide for my family, for my future kids, but also for my parents. Um, and any extended family if God blesses me to do so. But yeah, I would definitely say happiness and financial freedom. Those are my two biggest goals. I would say one of my short-term goals, as in for the next five years maybe, is to find something, to find a job or to make a living doing something that I love. That is definitely the most important thing to me right now because I am someone that can get quite demotivated quickly if I don't enjoy what I'm doing. So for me, it's really important that I find joy in the things that I do daily. And it doesn't mean that I have to have my dream job, but it also means I wouldn't stay in a work environment that is really toxic or hostile like I was before. So one of my goals is definitely making a living out of something I enjoy doing. And that is all for today's video. I feel like I've been talking and talking and talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so that YouTube pushes this video. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, what's your favorite thing about yourself? If you have any video ideas as well that you wanna see on my channel, leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram. And again, I really wanna thank you all so much for the love on my recent videos and for your support throughout the past few years that I've been doing YouTube. I really, really do appreciate it and it really does motivate me seeing all your lovely comments and DMs. It, it just warms my heart. So I really do wanna thank you guys. 
I love you guys. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.